not here this morning. She's got a high appointment. Okay, so we've just been doing the Desmos activity called Identifying Derivatives. And I just saw that the whole class has answered the first one. And so Jacob, can you um, tell me again why you chose the green one as the first? Sorry, Jacob, can you again show me why you chose the green one as the original and the uh, red one as the derivative? Uh, the green one has a slope of negative one. Good. And so that means the red one is always at negative one. Um, and Delaney, you shared with us why you thought the red one was the original in the B and the green one was the derivative. I said because the green one has a degree of one less. That's right. So the red one, it looks like a cubic. So the degree is three. And the second one looks like a parabola. So the degree is two. So those, that's a quick and easy way to be able to tell which is which. Um, just, however, a little bit of a warning is, remember, sometimes we see things that look like this, that look like cubics, that might actually be quintics. It could be a degree five, right? Remember, sometimes we saw ones that were degree five that looked the same way. And so it can't be the only um, proof that the red one is the, <laughs> is the original and the green is the derivative. So, uh, although that's part of your proof, can someone else uh, explain how else you can tell from this graph that the red one is the original and the green is the derivative? Couldn't you do that pencil test thing where like the steepness is increasing so it's a bigger number and it's positive? Yes, yes exactly right. Good. And the big part about the pencil test that's going to work really well is the um, is the derivative, or sorry, where it's equal to zero. So I'll go over here and just sort of show with my, my mouse. Um, maybe I'll grab a pen here. So if I was to draw tangents, you see that's a really big tangent. Why don't I use the line tool here? Um, yeah, I'll draw this. No. Oh, that's really big. So doing the pencil test, I'm drawing derivatives. You see that these are all positive and big. Um, but then the key one is this spot right here. Okay, at that spot, the derivative is flat. The tangent is flat, so the derivative is zero. And so right at this spot, you should see the other one plot at zero. And sure enough, it's right there. Oops. Right there, the other one is at zero, okay? And vice versa over here, this one is a zero, and then the derivative goes right like that. Oh, sorry, that's just my alarm. Okay. Um, the other thing that you could do is say, you know what? I wonder if the green one was the derivative, would the red one work? So I'll look at the green graph, you see it's going down like this. And then look right here. If I drew a tangent there, that would be zero, which means my other graph would be zero. Well, the other graph is zero, so it could be there, but at other spots, you see how this uh, right here is a negative slope, but the red graph is in the positives. So these are all evidence that the green one is not the original, that the red one is the original. Okay, so I'm gonna just open up the next um, bunch of examples and we'll come back and take up a few of them in a moment. Okay, so. So there's three more for you to try there.
Okay, it looks like I've got answers from people for uh, slide three. And we have almost everybody got slide three correct. Uh, slide four, everybody got <coughs> slide four correct. And slide five, we have a really mixed bag. So let's go back. Oh. I'm noticing now that everybody has slide three correct, and everybody seems to now have slide four correct. Okay, so it's just a matter of figuring out slide five. So again, if you wanted to come back to the um, Google Meet, and actually slide five is um, almost half and half, half say one way and half say the other. So let's come back to the Google Meet so that you can see these graphs up here and we'll talk about which one is which. And I think I'll just change over to this. All right, um, I think everyone's now happy with uh, the answer to uh, this first one here, uh, I think this was slide three. Uh, can someone tell me which one was the original, which one's the derivative? The red one's the original, the green one's the derivative. Red one is the original, the green one's the derivative, that's right. Okay, so this is F and this is F prime because this is always, always uh, a slope of two, which means the green one is describing all the slopes of two. If the green one was the original, the slope was always zero and the red line would be at zero. Okay, and B, uh, give me some reasons why I, everyone has said the red one is the original and the green one is the derivative. Can someone give me some reasons why? It's one degree less. Okay, good. There's one big reason, one degree less. Uh, also the pencil test and the maximums. So can someone explain, someone else explain um, the pen, why the maximum of the red one will tell you it's the original? Or minimum, I guess. Because that's when it'll be zero. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're doing our pencil test and drawing a bunch of tangents on this guy. It gets smaller and smaller, and then right there, the tangent is zero, which means the derivative needs to be at zero, and it is. Okay, so there's that. And then continuing on with the pencil test, these become positive and steeper, and so the graph, the green graph, does get positive and steeper. Starts off big negative, gets to zero, and then goes positive. And now the big debate is um, which one is which for the third one. Yeah, we're still split down the middle, half and half. So let's hear some arguments uh, either way. I said that the green one was the original. Okay. Um, and I based that off of the relationship with the origin there, the same, the same way it was in B, how um, at three, uh, well, y equals three, the green one is zero for, for x. I'm not making much sense here, but um, so then the red one has to be zero and lie right on the on the x-axis there. Great. Hopefully my line sort of um, represent what you were talking about, but that's, that was a really good explanation. The tangent of the green one is at zero, and so the red one must be there. Now, that's uh, good evidence. Let's also disprove that the red one is not it by doing the same thing. Let's do a tangent on the red guy. So a tangent on the red guy, especially at its local max, there's a tangent right there on the red guy. If that was the original, the derivative would be at zero. And I don't think the derivative's at zero. It's really close, but I don't think it is. Uh, same thing here, there's the minimum and if you look right above it, the green one is not quite at zero at that same spot. 
Okay, so there's some uh, more evidence that disproves the red one is not the original. And so I'm looking on the decimals thing and people are going back now and switching and saying that the answer is green is the original and the red is the derivative. And if you really try and then map it out with the pencil test and walk along the red graph, the red graph, notice the slopes are, or sorry, that walk along the green graph, the slopes start positive, but really tiny, right? These are really small, just like the red, and you see the red graph is positive, but really small. And then it gets steeper, 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 so the red graph gets steeper, and it looks like the steepest spot of the green graph is right about there, which is the highest spot of the derivative, which makes sense. And then the slopes start to get really shallow really quickly, okay? That little hump at the top says that the derivatives and the slopes have to get really shallow in a hurry, which means the red graph has to come down to zero really quickly. Similarly, it starts off getting really steep in the negative direction now to a point where that right there looks like the steepest part of the graph, which is right about there. And then the tangents start to get smaller, 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 but still negative. And that's why the red graph goes off and continues on like that. Okay, so those are all good explanations um, as to how and why you do that. All right, so what I'm going to leave you with then is um, the rest of this Desmos activity to finish up. Uh, you can also finish it up period four when you have your independent work time, but I will open up the rest of it. So there's just a whole bunch of different um, pictures like this. If you want to see the answers, go into Google Classroom and go to the note. This is the note for um, where is it? Right here uh, for 4C. Okay, so the note for 4C. You will see all of the answers to those Desmos activities there. Um, so you can sneak peek, and, and there are all the other ones. So if you wanted to check your answers, you can. Okay? Um, so you're finishing up this Desmos activity either over lunch or later on this afternoon. Uh, but we are going to go for lunch now, and we'll come back at 11.45 to do our afternoon work. So I'll see you again at 11.45. Mr. Lee, where does it show you the answers on that sheet? Um, so if you go in, you found the, did you find the file? Yeah, I'm on the one that says 1.4C, but I just see the graph, so I don't see answers. Oh, there's two files called um, day 4C. One is the blank version and one is the answer. So go back and there should be a second one that looks like what you're seeing on the smart board now. I just see one that says blank and then the Desmos thing. I don't see a second one. Okay, let me check. So is it this one? I think it's this one, day 4C drawing derivatives. Is it um, on the classroom or like do you have to open the file? So um, did you see how I got there? So are, are, you, are you in the Google Meet, you can see, see me? Yeah. So I'm in here under classwork and then clicked on this link to the notes. Oh, I see. Yeah, I only released it as an uh, as material, the um, the blank version, but you're going to need to go to your notes. Okay, so here are the notes of all of this, the notes for the whole year. 
And now you're going to go to unit four, unit one, foundations of calculus. You'll see notes, even for notes that we haven't done yet. Um, you're going to go down and see 4C, and that'll that's where you'll find your answers. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you after lunch.